Hey guys, if you've been on TikTok lately, you would have seen this perfume oil. It is Harima Salt and Gold. I've heard people raving about this stuff. So I bought it and I've been trying it now for about a week and a half to see, is it really worth the hype? Let's see. If you're new to my channel or perhaps you've been here before, please don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications and like this video. Okay guys, so this is the bottle here. You, as I said, you probably would have seen it a thousand times on TikTok. Um, I have seen this trending now for months. People are going absolutely, excuse the French, but bat about it. So firstly, I don't get the buzz and the hype around this perfume oil. I really don't. I'm nearly halfway through the bottle. I really tried to love it as much as everybody else. But honestly, I don't get it. Let me explain. When I watch people on TikTok unboxing this or smelling it for the first time, they go absolutely, as I said, bat crazy. They say that it's a perfect holiday vacation in a bottle. It's one of the best scents they've ever tried in their lives. So when I got it delivered, I remember opening it and having this really excited feeling that I was going to have the same reaction. I didn't. Is this perfume oil a terrible scent? No, and I don't want you guys to think that it is. It's actually not a bad scent. I think the problem is when you hype up a fragrance or a scent so much, you're expecting so much. And I feel very underwhelmed and disappointed when I wore this fragrance. When you first smell this perfume oil, you get blasted by this citric orange. Now, do I hate orange? No but it's never really done it for me. It's not a note that, you know, I look for in a fragrance. Have I enjoyed it in some fragrances? Sure, but it's nothing I get overly excited about. Anyway, moving on. So the citrus is there for a significant amount of time. I would say 50 to 75% of the lifetime of the fragrance on you. So it's there for a decent amount of time. And then at the end of it, it gives way to this kind of vanillic amber scent. Yes, it's a pretty enough sweet, orangey, amber vanilla scent, for sure. But I don't get the height with this fragrance. I, I know off the top of my head of so many other fragrances under that $50 price point, which is the retail value of this, that are better. They, they're just better. Not to mention the performance of this perfume oil. You would think being a concentrated oil that it would perform. Trust me, I barely got 30 minutes on my skin despite wearing it for a week and almost bathing in it on day seven. Essentially, guys, this is a nice enough citric amber vanilla scent that essentially just doesn't last. Please don't buy into the hype. Yes, it's at an affordable price point, but honestly, I would have preferred to put my $50 towards something that was going to last longer on me than 30 minutes. And the scent itself, as I said, for me personally, is unremarkable. Okay, scent freak, so that's my feedback on Harima Salt and Gold perfume oil. Look, there is a variety of reasons why a product will get hyped up, and sometimes it's not always the best reasons. So it's always a good idea to sample first, even if it is under $50. This one here was $49.95 Australian dollars. And honestly, is it a horrible scent? No, but I would not repeat the purchase and I really do not understand what everybody's going on about. That's just the honest to God truth in my opinion. Please don't forget guys, if you've tried Harima Salt and Gold, let me know in the comments below. Did you guys have one of those crazy TikTok moments where you open it and it's this euphoric fragrance awakening out of body experience. Please let me know. Maybe it just didn't do it for me. Maybe it did it for you. But let me know in the comments below because I want to know. Thank you so much, Zen Freaks. I love and appreciate you all. And I hope to see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.